Hey, how's it guys? In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use the DAO-E AI engine by OpenAI to generate images using Python. Alright, so DAO-E is a language model developed by OpenAI that is able to generate text in response to a wide variety of prompts. The model uses a neural network to understand the meaning of the prompts and then generate text that is relevant to the prompt. And using the DAO-E AI, we can do things such as writing stories, uh, writing poems, create images from scratch, or create different uh, AI-generated artworks. Now, if we go to labs.openai.com, and on this page, we can uh, experiment the DAO-E AI engine to generate different images. So for example, let's say I want to uh, generate an image of Yosemite. Yosemite and I. And here are the four images generated based on my prompt. So we have uh, the first photo. And here's the second photo, third photo, and the last photo. And there are many things that you can create based on different uh, prompts. All right, so now let's learn how to use uh, the OpenAI DAO-E uh, API. So first I want to go to openai.com slash API. Then you want to sign up for an account. All right, so I'm going to log in into my account first. And once you sign up for an account, you want to click on this uh, hamburger icon. And here you want to go to account. Then go to usage. So as a new user, OpenAI automatically gives you 18,000 of credit that you need to use within three months. Now on the left hand side, I want to click on API keys to generate a new set key. Now here, click on create new secret key and copy the API key. I'm going to save the API key in this uh, credential.ini file. And I'll paste the API key to this uh, API key uh, variable. And you'll need to create this uh, credential.ini file uh, manually. And once we have the API key, we can now start going ahead and connect to the DAO-E API. Now I'm going to uh, install the OpenAI Python package. And we can install the Python package using the command pip install openai. Now from the import statement, I'm going to import the data module first. And to achieve the API key from the ini file, I'm going to uh, import the config parser uh, module. Now, there are two different outputs that we can generate. One is to uh, create the URL that contains the image, and the other output type is going to export uh, the output as B64 format. And to convert the byte string into an image, I'll be using this uh, B64 decode uh, function to do the transformation. And to open the web page that contains uh, the URL, I'll be using the web browser module followed by the OpenAI module to connect to OpenAI's API. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to uh, import this uh, Invalid Request Error Exception type. I will show you how to use it in a second. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, import the API key. So to read the INI file, so first I need to create a configure parser object, and I'll name the object config. Then I'll load the credential.ini file using the read method. Now, if you look at the INI file, so basically we have a section called OpenAI, and it's going to be the dictionary key followed by API key. And this line here is going to retrieve the API key. Now, for the OpenAI API to be able to recognize our API key, so we need to reference the OpenAI module. They want to assign the API key to the API key attribute. So when we are generating an image, there are three different sizes that are available. One is 1024 by 1024. The other one is 512 by 512. And the smallest image size is going to be 256 by 256. Now to generate images using Dolly AI by uh, OpenAI. So here I'm going to insert function. Now let's look at the function real quick. So I named the function generate image. And this function takes Four parameters. The first one is going to be the prompt. So basically, you want to provide a description on what image you want to create. 
followed by the number of images. And here I set the default to one. And for the default size, I set that to 512 by 512. Now for the output format, I'm going to set the default to URL. Now if we look at the function code blocks, now inside this uh, try block, I'm creating an empty list called images. Basically, I'm going to use this uh, images list to store all the images that are created using the OpenAI uh, API. Now to create image, so here I want to reference the OpenAI module followed by the image resource that I create. So this create function is going to basically mimicking the parameters that we have from the function itself. All right, so if we look at the pump, so pump is uh, self-explanatory. Basically, it's a description of the image that you want to create. And the end parameter is going to be the number of images that you want to generate, followed by the image size, followed by the uh, image format. Now, in terms of the format, so we have two different formats. One is going to be the URL address, and the other one is going to be the uh, byte string. So here, for the output format, we need to either provide URL or b64 underscore JSON. Now, anytime when you provide an invalid parameter value, you are going to get this invalid request error. So here, my exception is going to look at this invalid request error, then print the error message. Now, going back to the uh, create function itself, once we make the API call, I'm going to save uh, the result into this uh, response object. And from the response object, we can uh, reference the image data by referencing the data key. And from response data, this is going to create a list. And here we can insert a loop to uh, iterate each image, then append uh, either the image URL or the image uh, by string into this uh, images list. All right, so let's try out the function first. So I'm going to run uh, this code block to create the generate image function. Now here I'm going to attach the API key to uh, the openai.api key attribute. Then I'll create the size uh, constant. All right, so here I'm going to insert the generate image function. Now let's say I want to create two images of corgi with hats. And I'll set the num images parameter to two. And for the size, I'll do uh, 512 by 512. And for the output format, I'll set that to default, which is going to be the URL. Now, if I go ahead and run the function, and if I print the response object, now it's going to create a dictionary. Now, going back to the function, if we look at this return statement, so basically the return statement is going to return a dictionary. And this dictionary will have two keys. Created means that when are the images are created. And the images keys is going to return the images list that contains the images. Now here from the response object, I can reference the created key to tell me when the API call was made. And from the image key, and it's going to return the images. Oh, I have a typo. Now, if we look at the first record, it's going to return the URL that contains the image. Now, let me go ahead and open the URL. And here's the first image with Corgi that wear hats. And to finish the script, so here I'm going to insert a loop. I'm going to iterate uh, the images uh, list. And to open the URL automatically, so I'm going to use web browser that open, and I'll pass the image URL. All right, so here let me try again. So I'm going to run the loop. Now it's going to open both URLs. So we this out the first image, and here's the second image. Now if I want to directly save the image to your local drive or to a cloud drive. In that case, so here we need to uh, change the output parameter to b64json. All right, so the parameter is going to be output format. All right, so I can simply insert the uh, parameter value. And here I need to specify the parameter name. 
And for the uh, description this time, I'm going to, uh, let's do San Francisco and Chicago mixed. And I run the function. Now if I print response, providing the images key. We now have a, a bit string that, that construct the images. And to save the images as a local file. So here I'll create a variable called prefix. And it's going to be the file name. I'll name this as demo. Now again, for image, and here I want to return the index number. So I'm going to wrap the response object with the enumerate function. And that will send the index and the image itself. And to save the image, so if you want to insert the await statement, we open. And it's going to be the uh, file name prefix followed by the index number dot jpeg. I want to write the file as binary. And here I'll feed the data to the file itself. So I'll type f dot write. And we need to uh, convert the by string using the b64 decode function. Now provide the by string. And if I go ahead and run uh, these four lines, right? So if I go into my local drive, and here are the two images created using Dolly, right? So here let me open both uh, photos. All right, so here's photo number one and photo number two. All right, so I guess they look okay, but I mean, essentially these are created using uh, AI and I'm pretty happy with the results. So this is going to be something I'm going to cover in this video and hopefully you guys find this video as well. And feel free to post your question or your feedback in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.